The hashtag Stop Asian Hate has gone viral since the deadly spa shootings in Atlanta, but how do we really stop hate crimes? Kat Rakowski thinks uncomfortable conversations are the answer, and she recently confronted her high school bully to prove it. Lindsay spoke with her earlier in today's DBL Spotlight. Kat, welcome to DBL. So you've been really vocal about the racism that you've experienced throughout your life. You even confronted a bully from your past, which I can't believe. But before we get into that, can you tell me some of the hateful things that you recently experienced or specifically experienced? You know, I have friends who have been, who have had rocks thrown at them when they're trying to go for a jog. You know, you hear stories about a 65 year old woman getting hit in the head. It's reached a fever pitch that is new. Now let's talk about your recent interaction with your high school bully. You actually chose to reach out to him. So why did his actions haunt you the most and what motivated you to even confront him now? The people who have been unkind to me have children now. Like, how are we going to stop this cycle? I gave myself a pep talk. I was like, why are you just wondering that? He's right there. Don't you want to know? Like, if there's any chance that you could intervene and help create the world, I don't know, help just make it a little better, wouldn't that be nicer? I just reached out. I just asked him if he remembered me. He said, hi, of course I remembered you. And I was like, okay, well, I guess I'm gonna go for it. Do you remember being unkind to me because I was Asian? Because wow. this guy was cruel and he did it for years. And to my utter delight, about 15 minutes later, he responded, he didn't remember specifically being mean to me, but he remembered that he was mean as a teenager. He asked for my forgiveness. He said he regretted doing it. He said that as a parent now, it pains him to think that someone would do that to his child. And we instantly had this reconciliation that was possible because we were both willing to go there and be vulnerable. Right, I was gonna say the vulnerability and the bravery. So how did it feel to get that type of response from him? Cause it could have went any way. It was so instant. It like filled my heart and I wept. Seeing that that was possible, seeing that he, you know, I confronted him out of the clear blue sky. And the fact that he could access that sort of openness to me and to his own past sins uh, was so moving and it was so healing. I think all marginalized people in this country and throughout history experience anger. It's not fair, it's not right, it harms us at every single level. That is justified and it is righteous and it is not enough. We have to find a way to push through our anger if we are gonna try to heal. Right, and just having those conversations with someone open-minded and willing to take the next step to move forward and understand their implicit bias is very important. So Kat, thank you so mm -hmm. much for sharing your story with us today. We appreciate you. Of course, thank you.